Good evening to my M2W1 family. This is Mommy of Two, Wife of One. It is 8.41 p.m. on July 28, 2015. And today I want to focus on the W1 part of my video blog, The Wife of One. My mom told me a long time ago, before I ever got married, that when you marry a man, you don't just marry him, you marry your family. And I'm assuming it works both ways, that when a man marries a woman, he marries her family as well. Now, obviously, I think this depends on your spouse's relationship with their family. For me, his family didn't have a lot to do with me choosing to marry my husband. His background is extremely different from mine. It's not necessarily good or bad. It's just very different. And a lot of the things I had to adjust to were pertaining to the way he communicates with his family. And kind of the things that they say and the things that they do. And I learned a long time ago, because he and I have been together for over a decade, I learned a long time ago not to take a lot of the things they say at face value. I learned that a lot of the things they say to me is not necessarily to get a rise out of me. They're not trying to upset me per se, but I think they were kind of testing me to see how I would react to their brashness and to them being so open and honest. And I also learned a long time ago that sometimes the things they said to me was less about me and more about where they are in their lives and things that they're dealing with. And all these things kind of came to mind recently because my son is with my husband's family on vacation in another state. He's gone for a week. This is the longest that he's been away from me. And especially with people that he doesn't necessarily see that often. So I was on pins and needles when my son left. I actually cried when he left and I never do that. I'm not that kind of mom that cries when my children are not away when my children are away from me. I've never been that kind of mother. So for me to actually have tears in my eyes it's just was not really me. And I know that is because I was nervous for him and just really anxious for him and hoping that he would have fun and hoping that he was safe and hoping obviously that he would get back okay and just hoping that he would have fun with his family. Because he's not around them that often, they probably aren't used to how he is. He's not used to how they are. And I just didn't want there to be a lot of tension. And that last thing I wanted and the vision I had in my head was my son basically playing by himself every day that he was away. I have talked to him two or three times since he's been gone. I've seen some pictures of him since he's been away. He looks perfectly fine. But you know, as moms, we worry about these things. And because I was raised completely differently from the way my husband was raised, a lot of the values and the morals that I'm instilling in my son aren't necessarily the same values and morals that my husband's family has. And my biggest fear, because I overthink everything, was that all of the things that I poured into my son within a week, it was going to be gone or it was going to be questioned or I'd have to kind of reprogram him when he came back. And I realize now that a lot of the things that I see as deprogramming or as I see as being harmful to him emotionally, he's not going to take it that way. My son is six, so he's not going to internalize something in a week that is going to take away all the things that I've poured into him over the past six years. So I realized that I was being silly, and I've been deep in prayer about it, but in terms of marrying your husband's family or marrying your wife's family, I think there is something to that, again, depending on the relationship that your spouse has with their family. I think it's all about understanding your place with your spouse and making sure that your spouse knows that when they marry you, you become their priority. So my husband, you know, he's close with his parents close with his siblings I'm close with my parents and close with other people in my family and as much as I love my parents as much as I love my cousins and my brother and whoever else I know that my first priority is my husband and then it's our children it's our immediate family and sometimes I have been accused of being mean and accused of being very standoffish to people or whatever because I understand my purpose is to be the best wife and to be the best mother I can be. And that doesn't mean I love anybody less, but I understand that this is where my focus has to be. And if something threatens my marriage or threatens my babies or just threatens our little family unit, then it is up to me and my husband to figure out a way to shield our children and shield our marriage from any negativity, no matter who it comes from. 
and again doesn't mean you have to love your family any less but they have to understand and respect that once you say those vows and you sign that marriage license or marriage certificate or whatever your husband and your wife become your top priority and that's the way it's always supposed to be and a lot of family members can't understand that a lot of them don't want to accept that and if they don't want to accept that that's their fault your main thing is making sure that your spouse understands that and that your spouse puts that into practice every single day it doesn't mean it has to be a situation where my spouse or your spouse has to choose me over the family it's never been that kind of situation at all where i've had to make him side with me over them we've never had any kind of conflict conflict of that sort where we've had to draw that kind of line but the same token if his family comes to him and they say certain things you know he steps up for his family and he'll say okay well it sounds good but my wife and i have discussed it we decided not to do this we decided not to go on this trip we decided not to invest in this thing whatever it is so when you become a wife when you become a husband if you become a wife if you become a husband understand that you and your spouse come first the family that he's connected to and even the family you're connected to you can still love them you can still do whatever you can to support them but just make sure that you and your marriage come first before anything else do not let anything come in between you guys because once your family gets in your ear or his family gets in his ear saying well how come you don't come around anymore you does your wife not like us is she you know telling you that we're evil you know i thought that we were your family or i'm your mom i birthed you how dare you choose this woman over me and blah 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 once it gets to that it gets to that point if it gets to that point then it's causing discord within your marriage and that's the last thing you want your husband and your wife is supposed to be your best friend you guys are supposed to talk about everything talk about any issues you have with other family members and just make sure that you guys are on the same same accord because if not then again that's just going to cause some issues in your marriage that you do not want to have so that's my tirade i guess for the night hope you guys have a great night and i'll see you again on mommy of two wife of one